wanted me to use this again. I was like, they ain't tired of that. They ain't tired of the palette. Hey friends, hey family. Como estas bienvenido? It's your girl back with another video. Yes, we are talking about no makeup makeup today. This is a Z look that I came with. You wanted a no makeup makeup look using hold wait for it y'all wanted me to use this again i did like three videos already i did like a soft sultry using memory like every like <laughs> every texture from the memory i did a soft glam you saw me do a three minute like every day running out the door it's still you know i had a makeup look on and i kind of like leveled it up but today you guys wanted to see a no makeup makeup look so if you're interested i did use a lot of drugstores so i got some drugstore things in here a list will be down below but let's get into the video i was going to do this as a voiceover but i feel like it's more personal when i talk to you guys i wanted to come with a requested video today using the tati hold on you guys wanted a no makeup makeup look using the tati beauty textured neutrals palette when i wanted a pricier palette maybe i went for things that i could find that are great from the drugstores and the reason why i wanted to start off this no makeup makeup look with skincare is because i hear you know my skin is moisturized i hear this a lot on youtube that skin that the skin you know you have to make sure it's hydrated and everything but what are you using i want to get more in depth in what you're using because the skincare is the base of your base okay it's really really important so i want to start off with some drugstore um some really great products from the drugstore and some that actually are going to be multi-purpose that is a bank for your buck i would say the first thing i love for my skincare to have if i want that makeup makeup look which i tend to always love and you know you've achieved the no makeup makeup look when people are complimenting your skin and not the makeup that you have on your face one of my number one skincare products is the Kula this is the sunless tanning anti-aging face serum the reason why I love this so so much is because if you like my neck and my chest are darker than my face so this kind of evens it out and I kind of cheat without having to go into using a darker foundation all the time you know sometimes we have a deeper foundation in the spring and summer than the fall and winter this helps me cheat it out and i don't look so ghostly but this has hyaluronic acid and vitamin c those two things i must have in my skincare you need to be hydrated that's going to help hydration is going to help everything else absorb really really well that's why i really wanted to talk about skincare in this video and you can see that i am like over halfway done with this bottle but this is something that i use now you can't get this from the drugstore but because it contains the sunless tanning it contains your vitamin c and your serum and it's hyaluronic acid you get like a four in one with this so i say it's a bang for your buck because you're buying one thing it's your serum your vitamin c your hyaluronic acid which is your hydration so i could go into this and go straight into my moisturizer with spf which you definitely want to do so you're skipping some steps with this um this is normally what i would use but because i want to share with you guys some drugstore i'm going to use the derma e vitamin c concentrated serum this is and it has hyaluronic acid so it's doing two things in one it's my serum with vitamin c and it's my hyaluronic acid i'm going to take this all over my face and i should have shown you guys my cleaning step cleansing step is going in with the micellar water in the daytime i don't particularly go with the cleanser especially in the fall and winter i will use a micellar water now i don't have one from the drugstore but i love the garnier and the l'oreal one um, I love those two micellar water so definitely cleansing your face with the micellar water I wash my face at night with an oil cleanser to get the makeup off and then I use a facial a foamy cleanser just to make sure everything else is off but um, I already have that off but I just wanted to share with you guys using a micellar water a hydrating one is going to help with the hydration step so you can already see 
that I have some hydration. That is my serum, my hyaluronic acid, and my vitamin C. I'll talk about some, some of those in another video, but I just want to let you guys know, use what you know that's fast absorbing on your skin. I'm using the Perlis. This is the Daily Moisturizer with SPF. Now, I use this lightweight radiance boosting one from Derma E, but this has my SPF in it. If I did not have... I don't have the Aveeno Positively Radiant, but I really like that one from the drugstore. That's the only SPF that I really like from the drugstore. If you guys have some other ones that are really great, let me know. Oh, I like the La Roche Posay um, as well from the drugstore, but I have to be careful with SPF. I know a lot of people have to, but the Positively Radiant by Vino, that one is a really, really great. I'm gonna use something lightweight. This is the Lancome. This is the Genifique Light Pearl Eye Illuminator. This one actually has like the little like spoolie ball. <laughs> That's what I call it. So that just, that coldness is going to allow some of that baggy because I have under eye bags, y'all. Because sometimes I don't get sleep. Hello, welcome to the mom life. Okay, so next we're going to do our brows. And I am going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow. Now, I have not used this in a while, but I want some shape to my eyes as well as some depth. Um, I One of my eyebrows is kind of off. So you want it to look effortless you don't want it to look crazy so i'm just going to take a little bit you guys and we are going to shape them and instead of like we don't want to make a structured brow but we do want to bring some life to the brow okay we want to i don't want it to be so structured i do want it to have a shape though so I'm only going to shape. I'm not going to go on the top. I'm not going to do all of that. I'm just going to bring some shape to the brow, okay? Okay, there. If you do too much, you go crazy. Now we're going to go into our primer. This is the Hydra Touch. You want to use something that is hydrating again. And I love layering. So Smashbox Primerizer and the Hydra Touch are very, very similar. If you can tell, you want that radiance. That's another reason why you want the vitamin C to be in your products is because it's going to give you that radiance. I have issues with under eye circles. I have found something from the drugstore that works. If you are my skin tone or near my skin tone, the NYX HD Studio Photogenic, this concealer I have loved for years, but it's not necessarily just this. It's the shade too. This one is peach tinted because I went a couple of shades lighter. This one is CW03. I usually use CW06. If you notice, this almost looks identical to a product that I absolutely love. I'm gonna have to come and let you share with you guys that it's a dupe. Seriously, like I have found that this is a dupe. So we're gonna let, I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. That's the important thing. This is, it dries down quite very quickly to me we because we want to keep it still skin like we are going to quickly take this elf concealer brush flawless concealer brush and we are just going to we're gonna tap and then buff the edges and you can tell it's already done something I want to make sure I get the corners and bring that concealer a little bit down. Make sure that I get it right in the crevice and corners. Does anybody else have those like corner deep set corners? Me for sure. I could also take a little bit of this to color correct. We're not going to do too much, but I'm just going to take a little bit. 
I have a little, little something, something, little friend over there. But if you are like me, and you have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. In this one, I am going to use my hands. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. To me, it gives a beautiful skin like. And I'm going to take it in the areas where I have not. I'm going to pat. And I'm going to just go in and spread all of that on my face. And the reason why... I'm going to pat it even a little bit. So the concealer blends. The reason why I'm using my hands is because it it warms up the product. Okay, making sure I get it all up. Okay, so this this is full coverage, a full medium to full coverage concealer. So we're just going to dot right there. Now I can use a beauty blender, but y'all sometimes I have that challenge right there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it where I want, and then I'm gonna blend with my finger, just because. I need that to be set. At this point, it's just the amount that you use. Okay. And blend. You want everything absorbed into the skin. That is what's going to give you the more skin like. You also can um, you also can mix a radiance primer. I love the Glotion by L'Oreal. I have it. Change that. We're not gonna go into a powder. We're I mean a liquid. We're gonna go into a powder. This is the Master Chrome, and this is the metallic highlighter. I don't even know what shade that's this is in. It's 250. But we're gonna open this up. Boom. Yes, I know it is high voltage, but our bronzer is gonna take it down a little bit. But I am just gonna lightly with the fan. Go here, go my nose. Again, this is drugstore. You see that glow but we're not making it beam we just want to oh wow she looks really like polished I like taking it down to the apple of the cheek here this is but more is more and so I'm just going to take a little bit before we start going into the powder of a bronzer. I know it looks like it's a lot, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to use the good old fingers. I just want to look like I'm flushed. I do really like this. I feel like this is like nars orgasm in cream form moving on to bronzer we have the physician's formula i am going to use this teardrop brush that's what i call it or tulip and we just want to and the reason why i like this is because i can kind of concentrate the color right where i want it and y'all, my hair is not done yet. Don't think I'm walking out the house like this. I'm going to go on the nose. 
The thing I like about the Physician's Formula, if I wanted to take this over my whole entire face to set it, which I think I'm going to do, <laughs> that looks even better. Because it, it blends everything together. That's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm. Sometimes you figure out stuff. Okay, on to the kicker. Really, I like using one shadow. This is no makeup makeup. This is not soft glam. So I like to go into Ritual and we're going to go into Soothe and Aura. It's the cream, the creamy one and the like soft camel. I actually mixed the two because one is too light for me. The other one would be, you could tell that I had it on. And again, this is no makeup makeup. Okay, so next, I'm just taking a little bit of Aura and, not Aura, I'm sorry, Soothe and Ritual, the two browns, and I am just making a soft line. This is just gonna thicken up the lash line but still not to the point where it's like, oh my God, you're wearing makeup. You kind of want to blend that out. That is pretty much it. Now we're going to go into mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation on my lashes. Finally, let's line our lips and I'm going to use this Milani Lip Liner in Spice. And then y'all the NYX matte soft matte lip creams this one is in Stockholm this is one of my favorite and it has like the nicest like my skin my lips but better tint and it tends to make my teeth look whiter ting and it gives you that nice soft matte I'm not really wearing something, but I am. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please comment and let me know what else you guys want to see. And I'll see you in the next video.